the equation for linear velocity, the instantaneous linear velocity. You check. Would it be um, Instantaneous velocity is just the derivative of position as a function of time. Well, that's for one object. Well, we've just illustrated that we can have something called the center of mass of many particles. So the velocity of the center of mass of the system of particles is just going to be the derivative of the position of the center of mass of the system of particles. Acceleration is just derivative of velocity as a function of time. So the acceleration of a center of mass of a system of particles is just the derivative of the velocity of the center of mass of the particles with respect to time. The point here being that you can treat, you can treat the center of mass of a system of particles and talk about its position, you can talk about its velocity, and you can also talk about its acceleration. It doesn't look like much, but it's an important thing to realize. 